on the radio, on television, and uh, on the Internet as well. The Jimbo Fisher Call-In Show is in full speed mode right now as we get ready to travel to upstate New York and uh, take on the Syracuse Orange on Saturday. If you haven't heard, kickoff is at 12 noon on Saturday, 12 noon. And, uh, by the way, pregame coverage of the game on the Seminole IMG radio network begins two hours prior to, so we'll be on the air at, uh, what, 10 o'clock, Jonathan, huh? 10 a.m., Tom Block and Bar Nun Floyd and Monk Bonasor. They'll be talking about the game, getting us all ready for the uh, kickoff, which will happen a little bit after after uh, 12 noon. HD is in Tampa, and HD, you are on the air with Jimbo. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, Hello. You're on the air, Jim HD. Yes, thanks for taking the call. Yeah. I got three quick questions, guys. Um, but first, I'd like to um, thank Jimbo for representing the university in a very classy way in the last few weeks. Thank you, Jimbo. My hat's off to you. Thank you. Man. And I hope your family's doing well. And my questions here, I'll give them to you, and I'll just hang up and listen. Right. Um, Kermit, uh, uh -huh. the fastback that we – I forget his name when we played Oklahoma State, ran our guys ragged. Do we have some plays for Kermit like that, and does he not catch a pass that well? And the second question would be, uh, can we ask the ACC office to uh, move the Louisville game to earlier in the year? You're in northern <laughs> Kentucky uh, late in the year like this. Uh, they can have some weather up there. I'd love to move that game to earlier in the year, and especially being a night game. And the third one, if you may have noticed uh, a couple weeks ago, the Michigan State coach fired a shot across the Big 12's bow there saying that they need to have a championship game to qualify for the four-team playoffs. <laughs> uh, I agree with that. I'd like to get your thoughts on that one. Uh, but Caboose in a question onto that thing. Um, that would force Notre Dame to pick a conference. And since they got a, a foot and a half in the ACC now, obviously they're going to go with us. So I'll just hang up and listen. And um, thank you, sir, for everything you've done. Thank you. On the last question, of Michigan State, if you, if you listen preseason, I shot that I shot that bullet early. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, you know, and it's not anything toward their conference. I just say if you're going to have a championship team or a national championship, everybody should play the same number of games, have the same re regiment to go through that everyone has. I don't care if it's them, Notre Dame, or whoever. I just think it needs to be unified before you can have a, a true championship that way. Kermit, yes, we do have some things for Kermit. Kermit's learning and to be a, a – he was always been a great runner with the ball, return guy, that type of thing. But he's now learning to be a complete football player out of the backfield, running routes, catching balls. We tried to throw him a couple last week. You know, right before half, we had a chance to make a great play on a catch, and he got hit more hard coming across, and he caught a couple balls. So he is developing. We're doing some things there. And then, you know, the scheduling part of it, I don't know. I have no control over that part. And uh, <laughs> call Monk. Yeah. He, he can do it. <laughs> he, can, he can gripe at him uh, up there. Yeah. I mean, but that you know that that type of, that part of the year, you're right. You can get bad weather. You can get cold weather. But you know that that's just part of it. Okay, HD with his uh, three part question. Uh, I'll tell you this: that was I threw Notre Dame. I think we'll have Notre Dame in a, in a week. But uh, was that Michigan? Uh, the, the coach talk about the. I didn't hear that. I didn't. I didn't hear Mark's that. a great yeah. guy. Good coach. Yeah, Mark D'Antonio is the head coach at Michigan State. That's, uh, we got another studio question. Go ahead. You're on the air with Jimbo. Hey, Coach. My name's Harry from Tallahassee. Hey, Harry. How are you? Uh, I'm great. Thanks for signing my cap. Uh, it's actually for my son, Brick. I wish he was here. Little Brick. Me too. I'd love to meet him. <laughs> Thank you. I was driving by uh, the stadium, and I looked down at the practice field, and I saw everybody was outside. Given that the Syracuse game's in a carrier dome, it's not like a big dome like the one in Dallas, are you going to practice more inside this week or less or same We as were usual? inside almost the whole day today except for kicking and individual practice. We went outside to kick when we punted because when we do punt inside, it hits the inside of the roof. Now, we can kick, kick off and do all that. So we went outside and punted, did special teams outside, did a little individual. And the rest of practice today, about an hour and 45 minutes of it was completely inside. So we went inside, cranked the noise up as loud as we could and got on that surface. And we'll be in there again tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Uh, thank you, Harry. Thanks for the, the good question about uh, indoor, outdoor, and when you're playing an indoor team. Only five teams in college football have indoor stadiums, and Syracuse just happens to be in the ACC. We get to play them every other year up there. Yes, sir. All right. A reminder from Budweiser, great times are waiting. Designate a driver. The Jimbo Fisher Call-In Show presented by Napleton Infinity, live from the Four Point Sheridan, will continue after these messages.